What up guys, Bart here with the world champ, Russ Swole. And one of the biggest questions that people have online is how deep should you squat? There's people that squat to here, to maybe at parallel, to below parallel. So we wanna go through what is the actual depth and maybe we can start with, for powerlifting, what qualifies as a squat in the sport of powerlifting? Okay, so I'm probably the worst person to ask. <laughs> Why, you miss death, death all the time? <laughs> I'm no making a joke. I, met, I missed two of my attempts last year, or uh, two years ago around nationals. That's it. That's but nothing. that's even that's better because now I know what true depth is. Okay, so what's true depth? Is it is it when you squat when this part is below the knee, so like that? No. Do you want to demonstrate, and I'll tell you what depth is. Yeah. Because we we let's let's get. Let me get a bar. Like. Let me get a bar because I'm so strong. Okay. Is that depth? No. Oh, okay, that's just branding. All right. Is this depth? No. Is this depth? No. Is this depth? I mean. Okay. Let's go lower. Is this depth? Yes, that's definitely depth. And then is this depth? Is this deep enough, or are you supposed to be like all no, the way? That's, that's too deep. That's unnecessary. I strain training. Um, so it's interesting because I hesitated to say that the other one was depth just because um, you don't want to practice, if you're a powerlifter, you don't want to practice hitting kind of borderline depth. I would have given you depth, but at the same time, you want to train for the worst case scenario. So there's going to be hard judges that are going to say that wasn't deep enough. Uh, but just going to the generic question of what is depth in powerlifting, depth is your hip crease getting below the top of your knee. A lot of people think that you have to get all the way to the bottom of your knee, but it's literally just the very top of the knee. So once again, that is a hip crease getting to the top of the knee. And that's why it helps to have a singlet, right? Because with all this yeah. fabric, sometimes you can't tell where depth is. Yeah. And also with camera angles, um, what is the best camera angle to see, to film yourself to see if you're hitting depth or not? So there's like maybe, I think, three camera angles that I like to see just because depth is going to look different. So you have um, the camera angle from the front for the, where the front on. judge is going to be looking at you. Yeah. Um, not exactly the front with the camera angle, but you want to get it from a side front. And then you have the other camera angle where the, you're going to have the side judge looking at you just to kind of just see like depth right there. And then you have like the kind of side back area because sometimes judges will lean over to this side yeah. to see if you're hitting depth. A side back meaning like yeah. this way? Yeah, side back, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So usually what, I, what I've seen is if this, if it clears from almost the side rear, it's almost gonna clear like everywhere around. Yeah, exactly. That's gonna be the hardest part to check where depth is. And if you're hitting depth from that angle, then you should be golden. I see. All right, so can I get you in a singlet and we're gonna put stickies on the points that measure depth so we can show what depth actually looks like? Yeah, for sure. Let me uh, just change real quick. Is that cool? Okay. Yeah. Bet. Whoa! Yeah, man. Ready? Yeah. So let me put the dots on you so we can see where everything's at. So we got these official IPF dot stickers. All right. Is this really IPF too? Yeah. Is this really? <laughs> no. no. <I> was like... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Here's your hip. Was your, this is your hip? Yeah. Hip right here. Another hip right here. Just so we can see it. There's your knee. Can you put your foot forward? Okay. Yeah, it feels like my first attempt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Nice. So that is depth. Proper depth. That's so proper depth. Probably go down lower so you guys can see. So once again, it's literally just the hip getting below the top of the knee. What is your cue? Do you like have a physical, I feel this so I know I hit depth? Because yeah. sometimes you don't, you're, you're not aware of where your body is, you know? Uh, I'm a very uh, feel it out type of lifter. So yeah. um, whenever I reach a certain point, during the movement, I know that for sure um, that I've hit depth and it usually involves my belt as well. Um, if my belt is buried into my thighs, yeah, that lets me know, okay, you nine times out of 10 have probably hit depth, so it's time to come back up. I see, mm -hmm. okay. All right, so just to go over it one more time, when you're doing a squat to hit proper depth, you wanna make sure it's the hip crease that goes below the top of the knee. And like Russ said, uh, some cues to look out for, because I actually have the same thing, is when mm -hmm. I feel my belt like all up in my quads, yeah. then I know I've hit depth. So that's where I try to like aim and feel for. Because mm -hmm. you know, when we're competing, we don't see, we don't have a mirror. Yeah, we don't have a mirror. 
so you just have to go completely based off of feel. And these days, I have a depth issue. Mm. Um, what I've been trying to do is like when it's off season, I try to bury squats yeah. like crazy. And then of course, as I get closer to the competition, I try to be more efficient with my mm. movement. So I'm not having all those wasted inches at the bottom. Yeah. So hopefully this meet in July, I'll have zero depth issues and I'll be able to crush it. Both of us, honestly. <laughs>